In this video, we walk through troubleshooting the E20B error, both for consistent E20Bs, where the error occurs every time you turn the fryer on, and then for intermittent E20B errors. To ensure the greatest chance of a first time fix, take along the blower that matches the unit. Series 200 units, built before approximately June of 2018, used a black house blower, and the units built after this used a silver house blower. Also, be aware that series 100 fryers use a different blower as well. Take along a pressure switch and silicone hose. You can find these parts along with the serial number cutoff in the parts list. Let's get a little background on this error. The E20B error occurs when the pressure switch doesn't close within 30 seconds after the blower is energized. You can instantly tell when the control is waiting for the pressure switch to close as the heat light on the control panel flashes two times. To troubleshoot E20B issues that are consistent, meaning they happen all the time, check whether or not there's airflow coming out of the flue at the rear of the vat by placing your hand over the flue. If there's no airflow, then let's lower the control and check voltage at the four pin connector for the blower motor. When the vat's turned on, line voltage should be present at this connection. If you have voltage and the blower is not turning, check to make sure that there are no wiring issues, and if none, replace the blower. If there is the more unusual circumstance where there is no voltage present at the control when the heat light is flashing two times, then replace the control. If you feel airflow out of the top of the flue and get consistent E20B error codes, check the silicone hose that leads to the pressure switch. Replace this hose if it's ruptured, cracked, or brittle. If no issues are found with the hose, ensure there are no obstructions found in it or in the pressure switch. So if no obstructions and no issues with the silicone hose, if the switch is closed when the blower's running, then find and replace any damaged wiring from the switch to the control. In the unusual circumstance where the switch is closed when the blower is running and there are no continuity issues between the switch and the control, then replace the control panel. Otherwise, if there is no continuity at the switch, meaning the switch remains open when the blower is running, replace the switch. All right, so now let's look at E20B issues when they're intermittent. So common reasons to get intermittent E20B errors is if the planned maintenance for the six month blower wheel cleaning isn't performed. And this happens especially on older black blowers. The oil accumulation and debris on the blower wheel slows airflow to the point the pressure switch won't close. These blowers need to produce 0.8 inches water column to close the pressure switch. On the silver backwards curved blowers, they need to produce 0.4 inches water column to close the pressure switch. The planned maintenance, which includes cleaning of the rear cover and the blower wheels, keeps airflow slow down from happening. You can sometimes detect blower cleaning issues if you look behind the control panel at the burner flame as it enters the burner tube. Slight flame rollout along with intermittent E20B errors indicates issues with accumulation on the blower wheel. In this case, the blower wheels would require immediate cleaning. 